Hello everyone, this is an introduction video for the Z1 Tiny from Ziyun. It's an aerial gimbal. Okay, what makes this gimbal stand out is that everything about this gimbal is produced and made by Ziyun, unlike other gimbals that are built from open source, such as simple BGC. Now you must wonder what the difference between the two. The gimbals made with controllers, simple BGC, are actually pretty decent due to the brushless motor, but there are still areas where it's incapable compared to the Z1 Tiny. The Z1 Tiny is using brushless motor exclusive only for the Z1 Tiny, so when it activates, the reaction time between the two is definitely different. Now, I'll connect the battery to the gimbals and activate them. Right when you activate, you can see that the open source gimbal doesn't start upright compared to the Z1 Tiny. What's really cool about the Ziyun Z1 Tiny is that no matter which angle you start the gimbal, it will always start upright and balanced. This makes the Z1 Tiny much easier to use and saves you time if you decide not to use a receiver. Right from the start, it's already better and more user friendly. So the one on the left here is actually very common in gimbals. It uses the simple BGC controller. As you can see here, it takes much more work to just start up the gimbal. You have to adjust it to the right angle, and uh, sometimes it's not that easy. The biggest difference between the two gimbals is how well it adjusts to movements and how well it controls itself when um, force is placed on it. So it's, it has a better reaction time um, when it comes to stability. Now I want to show you what happens to this common BGC open source gimbal when it tries to stabilize itself. You see that when I give it force and push it, the correction time is very slow. Very slow recovery for stabilization. Another thing is that if the Z axle gets pushed, it barely even corrects itself. All open source and simple BGC gimbals will have this problem. But the Z1 Tiny from Ziyun, all these problems will no longer be an issue. You can see the recovery time and ability to stabilize itself is way more advanced and much quicker. Now you must wonder if it's flying in the air, it wouldn't hit anything, so why does it matter? I'll show you the difference between the two here. I'll activate them both shoot a video for you to see the difference. So first I'll turn on the camera and connect the batteries to the gimbal. I only have one small battery but they're both 3S battery. It shouldn't make a difference in the performance test. Now I'm adjusting them to the same angle so you can see the same screenshot. You can see that the one on the right now is the open source simple BGC gimbal. After a few shakes, the Z axle is already off from its original angle. All right, so I'm setting it back to the angle from the start, and let's give it this a try again. All right, I think this is enough footage for everyone to see the difference between the two, and uh, this should tell you why uh, the Z1 Tiny from Ziyun stands out in aerial gimbals. Thank you for watching the video.